Welcome to Everything Elliot, where I give everything a try. And while you're here, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. What's going on guys? Thanks for stopping by. Um, my name is Elliot. This is the Everything Elliot YouTube channel. And today, today's a, a day I'm really excited for. Um, I'm gonna be adding another power stroke to the family. And uh, this truck that I've, uh, I'm purchasing, I've been trying to buy for the past two years. It's about a mile from my house. I look at it every time I drive by. And I've always been asking that guy, you ready to sell, you ready to sell, you ready to sell? It's always no, no, no. Well, I called him about a month ago and said, well, you're ready to sell. And he said, well, why don't you come take a look? So that means, in my mind, he's ready to sell. So we agreed on a price and uh, I'm getting what I think is a pretty good deal. However, it does include a little bit of tractor work. That's worked into the deal. So what I've got to do, it's only about a mile away from my house. Instead of loading the trailer up or loading the tractor up and bothering with all that, I'm going to drive the tractor down there. Um, I've got to take down a shed for him. Pretty simple, but uh, he's going to be helping me out. So once we get down there, I'll give you a look at the truck. Uh, we got, there's a bunch of extra stuff that comes with the truck, so I kind of got to play a shuffle because I got to get my truck down there, I got to get the tractor down there. So what I think is going to happen is I'm going to drive the tractor down, um, I'm going to grab the truck that's there, we'll load stuff up in the bed of that truck, and there's a couple set of wheels uh, and stuff like that. So I'll drive the tractor down, get down there, load that truck up, drive the truck back, leave the truck here, grab my truck, drive my truck down, and then, uh, I don't know, I'll have to have them follow me or something so I can get both back. So I am gonna hop on the Kubota. I got the pallet forks on the front here. Uh, that's what we're gonna use to get the shed down. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there, we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna hop on and take the ride down to his house on the tractor. All right, we're at Dave's house. I got the uh, Kubota behind me here and uh, Here's the shed we're taking down. Dave's cleaning it out a little bit. Say hi, Dave. Hey. There he is. Had some damage over winter. Lost some roof action. So we're just gonna, the only thing really holding it up is that two by four. So I think we're just gonna uh, knock it down with the tractor and drag it out back. Right, you're gonna burn it? Yeah, the burnable not, stuff, yeah. Not the shingles, because we don't want the EPA on our back. Right. All right, we're gonna try hitting that two by four, see what happens. All right, good enough. That was a little anticlimactic, but. easy it is oh my God. all right well uh, we're gonna finish cleaning this up I don't want to burn all the battery before we get to the good stuff so I'm gonna finish cleaning the shed up and then we'll uh, we'll be back once uh, it's time to get into the truck activities all right shed is down and uh, the truck is across the street at his mother's house but there it is all cleaned up and we're gonna go for the walk and get the truck. All right, well, like I said, doing the shed was part of the payment. And uh, now we're here, walked across the street. Oh, got a little friend. Are you Elliot? I am. 
All right, well, we met a new dog there, so that was pretty cool, but uh, here's the truck. It's a 1997 F350 with the 7.3 power stroke in it. And I am pretty excited. The truck is super clean. It's a New York truck, but I mean, for this little bit of rust it's got there, a little bit in the cab corner, I mean, the truck is super clean. Get you a walk around. Not too shabby. Uh, it does need a little work. It needs um, injector uh, injector o rings. That's about it, though. All right, let's see if it'll uh, let's see if it'll fire up. <laughs> truck hasn't been on the road in about two years it's been sitting I'll walk you back here you'll look at uh, the exhaust you see it is quite smoky but uh, the reason I think it's either cups or o-rings is because once you drive it for a while the, uh, the o-ring or it uh, sorry once you drive it for a while the smoke clears up Check out this interior. Throwback, huh? Got the full dash, the bench seats. It's kind of hard to film in here. It's a single cab, but uh, yeah. Let's get it over there. Got some stuff to load up into it. Rides like a lumber wagon. Love it. Grab the non muddy part. So let's give you a list of things I'm getting with my truck. Um, I got a set of wheels that are on it, and then two sets of Alcoas, and uh, there's a plow set up back here, uh, truck cap, and then he's got a fiberglass fastback, which he said it fits funny, so it's probably just warped from being old. What I think we're gonna do is try to put the cap on the truck Oh yeah, and there's a spare motor. The spare motor's bad, but uh, I'll take it. Maybe work on it. Yeah. I don't know. I think we're gonna try to put the truck cap on it. Let's see what happens. All right, we got the truck cap the on. Clamps. I seen the two clamps. Oh, okay, there they are. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw those two clamps on there real quick. I would. Yeah. What do you say? Does it run? Yeah. I drove it over here. Ow. You're going to drive it home, right? Yeah. Cap. Cap is secure enough for the ride home. Cap needs a good washing, but... I don't think it's those other ones. I don't know why Mark wouldn't want to keep that cap on there. Thing looks slick as snot. What else we gotta get? The new cover and the engine. Oh yeah, the engine. 
Right. We uh, got the truck mostly loaded up. I'm going to come back for the motor a different day. Just too much, uh, too much to do today. It's all buried in the shop, so I'll grab it a different day. We got the cap on. We got the wheels in. And uh, we're taking it home. So I'm going to concentrate on driving. And uh, I'll be back with you guys when I get home. All right, well, the truck is home. Made it home, no problems. Drove here. Now, uh, it's going to need a good power washing. The cap was sitting just on the ground, so that's why it's so got a lot of algae on it. Um, you know, it needs a little love, but uh, it's all there. All right, like I said, and I'm sure you heard me, it's a 7.3 power stroke. It's all there. No intercooler on this model. There's a turbocharger. It does have a wicked wheel in it. Not much to it. Not much to it at all. Nice little project. So, what did I pay for it? Might be the question. Um, bought it from a buddy's uncle. That was Dave. It's my, actually Tim's uncle, who's been in one of my videos. And I paid $5,000 for it. $5,000 and that, uh, and the tractor work, which took me an hour. So pretty good deal. Needs a little love, but uh, runs and drives as it is. As you saw, I drove it, drove it home. So what I'm gonna do now is, uh, I'm gonna get the power washer out, give it a good rinse, and see what it looks like afterwards. Michelle's coming over here. Michelle, what do you got to say about the truck? It's what? It's dirty. What do you think? Yep. Yep. That's yep. That's yep. Yep. That's what she says. Yep. Um, my parents are bringing us to one of those chicken dinners. All right. Well, I'm gonna get the power washer out. I gotta power wash the whole roof of the uh, cab. But uh, yeah, cleaned up decently. This is all, I'm gonna power wash all this, but it's just the same thing, me power washing. I don't know how much you wanna watch of that. All right, well, I got all the, uh, the rims laid out here. Eight of them total. I got, looks like a good set. One. One, two, three, four. That's probably the set I'm going to keep, and then that four I'll sell. Um, I'm just going to hit these with the power washer quick and see what happens. I know they'll polish up nice. They're not pitted at all, which is amazing. But, uh, well, these over here have a little bit of pitting on them. But uh, either way, they'll, they'll look really nice. Yeah, the good set polished up real nice. Not polished. I didn't polish them. What am I thinking? I power washed them. These four are the crummy set. I shouldn't say crummy. They're just not as great. And then these four are the ones I'll keep. Those are going to look slick. Tires on a pallet over there. They'll sit there now until I find out tomorrow where I want to put them. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to put the truck over in this bay in the back, and that's where it's gonna stay.
I'm gonna work on it, so I'm gonna back it in. Uh, and first things first though, before I let it sit for any amount of time, the windshield's actually leaking. I noticed that when I was power washing it and uh, the rug's a little wet. So I'm gonna grab my wet dry vac and I'm just gonna try to vacuum as much water out of there as I can. That way uh, it's not sitting in there. So, all right, let's get the truck in the shop. This is where she'll live. Oh man. I don't know if you could tell how excited I am, but I've been wanting this truck since I was a kid, a 97 F350. It's 7.3 power stroke. I mean, this is the iconic Ford truck. I'm so excited. Oh. And you know the killer is? I'm not even gonna register it this year. I'm going to work on it this summer, I'm going to work on it this winter, and then next year I'll, uh, I'll register it. It is leaking a little diesel, I think. <sighs> leaking a little diesel, probably from the valve cover gaskets. Not a huge deal. We, uh, I'm just going to slide a bin under it. Well, anywho, um... I'm going to get to vacuuming the wet carpet. I'd show you that. Um, let's, let's see. I don't know. It might be too dark, but the carpet is wet in here. So I'm going to vacuum as much of that, vacuum as much of that out as I can. And then, uh, just leave the windows open and let it dry out. Just look at it. What a nice truck. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you'd enjoyed. Uh, I know, I know I did. I've been waiting for this for a long time. So, um, thanks for watching. And while you're here, why don't you check out some of my other videos? Maybe you find something you like, who knows? Um, yeah. Thanks. And, uh, hope you have a great day.